Buenas tardes a todas y todos. Good evening, everyone, and thank you very much for turning out. It's really impressive to see, to see such a crowded house. Well, first of all, uh, I would like to uh, uh, greet many people and thank many people. First of all, I want to thank our, our group, the, the left group, for this initiative, and uh, specifically Claire Daly, because it was uh, at uh, it was uh, at her uh, behest that we invited Francesca Albanese. I would also like to use uh, these uh, five minutes uh, to denounce the fact that we have been uh, pressurised into not ho uh, holding this uh, event, and uh, uh, we have an excellent co colleague such as uh, uh, Dali, who has been accused of every uh, possible crime. And I can honestly say that uh, she is a really uh, great colleague. And for anyone who fights for uh, peace and human rights in the world, we all want her on our side. It would be a great thing to have many people like uh, Claire in this parliament. I also want to uh, thank very warmly the presence of the Special Rapporteur of the United Nations for the Occupied Territories in Palestine, um, Francesca Albanese. At this moment in time, uh, silence seems to prevail. And it happens very often uh, when uh, I, have, uh, I give an interview and they uh, congratulate me for speaking up, which sounds a bit absurd, but I think that's what people uh, expect from, from uh, politicians, not to say anything. That's what people are used to. Francesca Albanese is one of those people who speak up, who say things in a very clear way, and who don't look the other way. She doesn't uh, try to be on one side and on the other side as well. She's on the side of uh, justice and on the side of those who are against a criminal uh, occupation. She has uh, uh, published many reports that I uh, wholeheartedly recommend. They are real gems. And she's here to present her latest report. I think the title says it all, Anatomy of a Genocide. And we have to uh, call things by the proper name. This is not a war. A war happens when uh, there are two countries with two armies that uh, fight each other. But this is not the case. This is uh, more a case of uh, genocide because we have a supremacist regime which is exterminating systematically the uh, Palestine, Palestinian people. And they're trying to uh, kill 2,300,000 uh, people who live in the Gaza Strip. So this is not a war. Maybe we can call it uh, genocide, we can call it uh, holocaust, we can call it whatever we choose. But uh, we have to be uh, frank about how we describe it and this organization is complicit with uh, what's going on. The European Parliament, which is part of the European Union, is uh, um, trying to save its face but it isn't acting uh, in the right way. When they speak, they seem to be against the genocide, but when they act, they are facilitating the genocide. And our governments are still selling uh, weapons to Israel, and they're even uh, buying uh, weapons from Israel. So uh, European Union leaders have blood in their hands, and we have to call a spade a spade, otherwise we will be complicit and we will be accomplices. So, um, before I wrap up, I would like to thank Claire and Mick for this uh, initiative. And mostly I would like to uh, thank uh, um, a person. Um, it's been great uh, being an MEP. And one of the greatest things about being an MEP has been 
to meet somebody with the human integrity which is represented by uh, Francesca Albanese and we're uh, walking uh, hand in hand to defend the rights of the Palestinian people. Thank you very much.